What's up everyone, this is Henry here, and thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smack that like button, subscribe if you're new, click that notification bell, check out my description below, where you'll find my social medias in my merch store. Okay guys, I've been thinking about this for the past two months, give or take, about everything that's been going on around the world and even here in America. Um, do I think World, uh, World War III is on the horizon? Yes, it is. If you're in the known, you, you probably think so as well. But if you're not in the known, listen up. <laughs> okay, first off, guys, Russia has been bombing the crap out of Ukraine the past week. And... You see the news to stop talking about that, right? Uh, it's escalating over there. And it's going to keep escalating until the point Putin is going to use tactical nukes and start hitting Ukraine. And messing it up big time. And we got Baltic states um, that's around there. Um, Poland. Um, What's the other states? There's, there's a few other Baltic states. I don't know them all. I'm not in Europe, but, you know, you got them in the Finland, Sweden as well. That um, That's making, uh, that's refurbishing bunkers for the citizens to go into, you know, in case it happens. And also, uh, the Russian citizens, they're already assigned, assigned a bunker. Wait, they have bunkers for days in Russia. Here in America, what do we have? But before I get into that, um, the government, the, the government in those countries that's in Europe, are uh, telling the citizens to get prepared and to get potassium iodide tablets. They're basically uh, tablets that help you, f um, uh, that prevents you from getting sick uh, from radiation. That's it. It it doesn't do anything else. Um, and here in America, nothing's happening here. We don't have, we got a few fallout shelters, but that's it. Most of us will be dead if nukes start raining down. Now, guys, you got to think about this. The people in the power, the politicians, Congress, the House, Supreme Court, the President, etc., etc., they all have bunkers to go down to. Same for Putin and them. That's why they don't give a fuck. If they nuke, because they know that they'll be safe and they'll be alive. The government will still be alive after most of us are dead or turn into fucking mutants or some shit like that. Some Fallout 4 shit. They will be alive and well and kicking it in the bunkers. That's why they, they don't fucking care. Um, if they want to start World War 3, they'd be perfectly fine, which they are. These politicians now, they're, they're fine with it because they know that they'll be safe. We won't be safe, guys. You got to think about that. We would not be safe. We would die. It's only a very small percentage of us that has our own personal bunkers or shelters to go into. The vast majority of us will be shit out of luck, guys. That doesn't mean that we'll instantly die. If we're in the blast zone, obviously, your ass is going to be dead. But, you know, you got the fallout to deal with. You got other people to deal with you got all kinds of other stuff you got the winter you got so much in to take into consideration <clears throat> if this happens so i just want you guys to just take a moment and just think about it these politicians don't fucking care they don't world war three i it, it it's probably going to happen guys um if not some some other shit's going to happen our comedy here in America is shit. They're trying their best to hold off this massive, this big ass Great Depression that we will be going through soon. Uh, we in fucking debt, guys. Normalcy. If this was normal, none of this would be happening. Um, there wouldn't be signs on buses and shits talking about nuclear war and fallout shelters and shit like that. And then you got, you got that shit that happened in New York, that park, that um, PSA announcement or some shit, some video about just stay in your home and, you know, in case some shit happens. Stay away from windows. 
motherfucker, if you're in New York City, and if you just take those steps, your ass is gonna be dead. Stay away from windows, dude. You will be vaporized in seconds from a nuke. And they will target New York City. Because that's one of the major cities. If it happens. And um, I will be doing another prepping video about this in particular. Uh, in case, you know, what to do in case you start hearing those sirens go off. You know, those nuclear sirens go off. So stay tuned for that. Because I really want to talk about that as well. And to give you guys some ideas on what to do. If that ever happens. I hope it doesn't guys. Honestly. You know. It got me uh, stressed out a little bit. Um, with all this that's happening. Because I can see it. Yes. You know. I, I live my life. And I hope you guys live y'all's lives too. And hang out with family. Spend time with them. Because you never know guys. You never know when your last day is going to be. After you know. When it's all said and done. Anything else can happen to you. We don't live in a puppies and rainbows world. This is a dangerous, cold world that we live in, guys. I could talk about this all day with y'all. Um, but anyway, back to this. Uh, just keep an eye on it, y'all. Just keep an eye on it. Fuck these politicians. They're going to be safe and cozy in a bunker that's in fucking Greenland or some shit. Have you guys seen that movie, actually? It's called Greenland. Um, I'll... Uh, it'll be popped up somewhere but it's about an asteroid and then you know we got the bunkers and all that and yeah it's a pretty good movie guys just, um just check it out um it's cool it's going to be like that but with politicians and other citizens that have skill sets it's going to be it's not going to be no lottery and no shit like that it's going to be people who have skill sets so the average joe um, if you got skill sets, that doesn't mean that you're going to make it, you know, get selected or whatever called, you know, there's millions of us with the same skill sets. So they only need so many people. The vast majority, majority of us are going to die. So that's just fact. Guys, let me know, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this topic. Um, I, I also want to do a, um, a little live chat with a bunch of you guys on Streamlabs. You know, and talk about this type of stuff, and before I can get y'all's perspective out of it, out of everything that's going on, instead of just listening to me rant about it. But I do appreciate you guys for watching the video, yeah, hearing my rants and all that. I honestly hope you guys are preparing and you know sharing this video out to people because people need to know what's going on. Honestly, I'm not trying to put no doom and gloom into. Well, I mean, it is doom and gloom because this is not normal times. It's not, guys. It's not. Please wake up. Please wake up and get prepared. No one's going to save you. No one is coming to save you. Only you can save yourself. Because a few nukes may fall, that, that don't mean anything. If, you, if you're not in the, the, that vicinity, you'll be fine for the most part. If you have, you know, means of communication like a ham radio or some shit like that. Because your cell, the cell phone um, towers and all that stuff is going to be gone if an EMP happens. But anyway, guys, I don't want to sit here and, you know, hold you guys up. Um, like I said, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you smack that like button. Subscribe again. Uh, hit that notification bell. Well, you can't subscribe again if you already subscribed. <laughs> but um, uh, either than that, hope you guys stay safe. Be aware of your surroundings. Carry a gun. Get prepared. And start stacking. And as always, have a nice day.